In 1936, World War I veterans returned to Vimy Ridge. I lost a leg at Vimy when a shell hit us. I crawled out of 42 dead, the only survivor. On this land donated by France, Canada erected a monument to the memory of thousands of Canadians who died to defeat German imperialism. Their brothers in arms came here to be part of the inauguration ceremonies. In 1914, the youth of Canada were determined to join the Allies in the war to end all wars. Me and my chums thought it was the thing to do. We saw it as a cook's tour. We'd be back home for Christmas. After three years of trench warfare, such naive optimism had long vanished. But the Canadians' reputation as an effective fighting force had taken hold. Up until then, the Canucks were part of the British Army. Then came Vimy Ridge. The British and the French had failed to capture this heavily defended German salient. The Canadians, united for the first time as an independent force, took up the mission. Preceded by a creeping artillery barrage, the boys from all parts of Canada advanced in the sleet of an Easter Monday morning. After bitter fighting, they overcame their objectives and reached the crest of Vimy Ridge. By sunset, they were victorious. Canada had shed its colonial status and earned its place among the nations of the world. The Vimy Monument bears the names of Canadians killed in the war who have no known grave. It speaks to all of sacrifice, honour and remembrance. <laughs>